Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to script out an entire database in SQL Server. When we talk about entire database, that means we're talking about all the objects such as uh, tables, store procedures, functions, everything in your database you wanted to script out. And uh, uh, the scenario that why you need to script out your database, sometimes it is a good idea when you're migrating your databases from one place to another and you don't really care about the database, uh, the data in your database at that time, but you can go ahead and create your database tables and then you can move the data after the table. You can export all the data from your uh, source uh, database to your destination uh, database. So that's uh, just one scenario. You can uh, you have a lot other scenarios and one of the other scenarios that you might want to create the database script and save it in your uh, uh, um, source control, uh, whatever the source control you're using. In my case, in my company, we use a, a Team Foundation server as our source control so we can go ahead and basically save our script on um, a Team Foundation server and uh, that would be our uh, database script backup. So I'm going to show you real quick that uh, how to script out an entire database and you have option, you would have an option that uh, if you wanted to script out your entire database or you wanted to uh, you wanted to choose the specific objects in that particular database and go ahead and script that out. So here's my SQL Server, uh, Tech Brothers SQL Server. SQL Prod is my SQL Server instance, and the database that we're going to work on is Sales Orders. If you notice right here, if you expand Sales Order and look at the table, I have six tables here: Customers customer 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this is just for the demo purposes, um, but uh, the idea, the, the training um, for this tutorial will remain the same for any uh, other database that is in your organization. So what we're going to do in order to create the script, keep in mind that if you right click, a lot of folks think that if you go ahead and do create database script as create, and you will see that it will create this particular database with all the option this is just specific to just the database uh, schema and it is not concerned about the objects in the database as you, as you can see that it has all it has to do all the setting of the database not the objects if you notice right here so what we're going to do is uh, generate the script basically that will include all the objects in this database so we're going to go ahead click right click on the database go to task and click on generate scripts you'll get right here the wizard so we're going to go through the wizard first uh, as you can see that uh, introduction what it's going to do you're going to go ahead and select the objects and then set script options whether you wanted to save the script in a file whether you wanted to uh, do the in in new window query and all that good option and you can also up here save or publish your script to your uh, source control as well so we're gonna go ahead excuse me we're gonna go ahead and click on don't do not show this option again and click next up here as you can see that uh, you have two options script entire database and all database objects and then you have an option up here select specific object in this particular video I want to do the entire database and all the objects in this uh, uh, database however if you click on uh, select objects you you get um, all the objects right now I just have just the tables I don't have store procedures for this demo purposes not no function but if store procedure and functions are there user defined functions it will basically get that all the user defined objects will be in this list so I'm going to go ahead and select the first option script entire database and all database objects we're gonna go ahead and click next and we get option set scripting options and scripting option is save script to a specific location if you wanted to save your script in a file and then later on you want to get that uh, uh, script and run it on your target server you can do that and also you have a publish to web service if you wanted to use a publish to web service uh, option you have that option up here is the save to file if you click on advance these are the options that um, it is going to if you wanted to change any option uh, right now about these tables uh, about this database options 
uh, you can go ahead and do it now and it'll include in your script but I'm not going to change any setting I wanted to keep the same setting and take this database script to the destination server and here's my file location it, up here you have an option single file it will put it will it'll create uh, you can name it whatever you I'm going to let's say that I'm going to go up here and say sales orders that is my sales order database and it will be single file that means uh, creating the database all the objects tables functions store procedure views anything all the security and and, and everything will be in one file one dot sql file right here so if this file already exists uh, you have an option to overwrite existing file and uh, if you wanted to just save the clip clipboard and go to your destination server hopefully you have uh, that trust between those two servers you can right click and paste that or you can open a notepad and uh, paste that uh, uh, entire uh, script in uh, notepad and save that so uh, you can also save to a new window query it will what it'll do is open a new query right here and uh, uh, let you look at the dot sql script so we're going to do uh, we're just gonna go ahead and um, uh, save the script to a file which is sales orders dot sql and we're gonna click next and it's going to show you that these are the options and these are the table and views that is going to go ahead and do it will take all the foreign keys all the constraints and everything if there is any in my case there isn't any so um, it's uh, just for demo purposes so we're gonna go ahead and click next and as you can see that uh, it has created generate the script and you can look at the report you can save the report and you can look at it and it'll show you that all the objects it went through so we're gonna go ahead and finish and let me quickly check one more time that where it saved so right here it saved so I'm going to just grab this location cancel this and we're gonna see what kind of script we get so I'm going to go ahead and go in that particular folder and up here is our sales order so we're gonna go ahead right click edit and this will open a notepad as you can see that it has create script and it has also the create script of all the objects that's in there so let me open it in double click and it'll open it right here as you can see it has all the tables and objects and this script you can take from here and execute on your target server and it'll create the database on there so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to uh, connect with my other server other SQL server that is my <coughs> SQL mirror that is my instance so I'm going to go ahead and connect with SQL mirror So this is my SQL mirror. So what I'm going to do is create this database. I'm going to click on new query. Keep in mind if you uh, hover your mouse out, out here, it'll show you that it's connected with TBS client, Tech Brothers client server, and the server instance is SQL server instance is SQL mirror, and it's connected with dot master database. And what we're going to do is open the file that we just created and that would be in my document as you can see sales order so we're gonna go ahead and open that so right here all the database script keep in mind this is just the schema of all the objects not the data so we're if you notice right here the path to my MDF and LDF on my uh, other server uh, TBS client this path does not exist basically the path for that in that target server is this as you can see right here
I'm going to just change the path so that it wouldn't give us the error that this path doesn't exist. Keep in mind that this path needs to exist, so you need to choose the right path in your target server. So what we're going to do right here is make sure that that path exists. So right here is the path. Everything looks all right. So we're going to go ahead and execute our script and make sure that we're connected with the right server and click execute. As you can see, the command completed successfully. Let's refresh our databases and see our database is right here right here uh, this is our target uh, database we got the script from our source database we ran the script and made modification uh, where our MDF and LDF needed to be and we got our script uh, we got our uh, database on our target server with all the tables keep in mind these tables are empty tables for now they just hold a schema that your source database schema but not the data you can go ahead and move the data from your source destination after you created the tables and all the objects in the schema so basically that's it um, we this is how you uh, generate the script of your entire database and take that script to your destination server and create the same database with all the objects such as functions tables store procedure and any other user objects that is in your database and i hope this video